Hi, and welcome back. This challenge is creating your first animation, and it's a two-part challenge. I'm gonna show you the final product here where you make the cat look like it's walking across the screen like this. Looking sharp, Scratch Cat. However, I've broken this challenge into two parts. So the first part of this challenge is to get the cat to look like it's gliding across the screen, but without using the glide block. And I'm gonna go full screen so you can see this more clearly. So, if I do this, it looks very similar to the first challenge you did. However, if I move the cat up to the top and run it again, it goes across, straight across the screen. So no matter where I start it, if I start it down below and run it again, it goes straight across the screen. That wouldn't work with a glide block. So the way you do this, instead of using a glide block, you need to use a move block. And this is the move block. All right, if you think you can do this by yourself, jump into Scratch, go ahead. If not, stay tuned for some hints or come back if you're struggling to look at some hints. All right, I'm going to create a new project as always. And we're going to talk about why you'd use a move block versus the glide block. So here's the thing with the glide block. The glide block is great for going to a specific location. If I drag it there and I want the cat to glide back and I click on it, it glides great. But if I want to do anything while it's gliding, I can't easily. So for example, if I wanted to animate its legs moving while it's gliding, it's a little harder. So often, we use the move block. The other thing is the move block makes it move in a certain direction and it doesn't matter where it starts. And how does the move block know which way to go? Well, it's based on the direction it's pointing. So if I click on direction, right now it's 90, which is to the right. So it's gonna to move to the right. So if I click on the move block, it moves 10 steps. Click on again, it'll move 10 steps again. And basically to make it glide, you do it over and over again, like a flip book. But me clicking it over and over again is pretty slow. Computers are actually great at doing the same thing over and over again. They don't complain at all. So if you go to control, there's a couple blocks to do this. We could do a repeat 10 times, and then I'd move it a little bit. I could change the number and say 50. And that gets me off screen. No matter where I drag it, it goes straight across. I could also do a forever block. And then it will just go until it hits off the screen. So this hint basically gave you the answer, but I want you to understand the difference between the glide and move block. Because when you're making games and making characters move, you're often going to use a move block and not the glide block. Good luck and keep on scratching.